Today's experiment is about plant respiration. Let's get started. Good morning and welcome back elementary. We're back with another science experiment. I have my assistant Abraham with me. Hello. This is science experiment number seven, plant respiration. Now before we get started, make sure you have this. This is your science experiment sheet that all of you have in your binders. The first part is the prediction. You actually write down what you think is going to happen. The second part is the illustration or drawing. And lastly, the results. What actually happened? So as we're looking at our science experiment sheet and we're trying to make a prediction, well, Abraham, we are going to take these leaves and submerge them inside of the water right here. And we're gonna hold them down with some of these rocks. After a couple hours, what do you think is going to happen? I think it would float. I'm not, I'm not absolutely sure. I haven't done this experiment before, so I'm not sure, but I think it would float. Okay, what do you think or how, that's a good prediction. There's no wrong prediction, that's the nice thing uh, about experiments. Um, what do you think or how do you think the plant will show respiration or breathing, showing that the plant is I think releasing I would go oxygen? Like, whoop, whoop. It's like diving. It's like, it's like doing this, but it's like whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay. Thank you for your prediction. Let's find out. So for this experiment, you only need a couple items from outside. First thing you need are some leaves. Try to get some broad leaves, some bigger leaves. These are great because you can see the midrib vein and the veins. Um, and when you get the leaves, um, like my assistant did, try and grab them so that you have the petiole still, which you should remember from last week's parts of a leaf. So grab the petiole. Two weeks ago? Yeah, because last week you said there's no video. That's right. Oh, from two weeks ago. So make sure you have the petiole. And it is important to note that when you do this experiment, you use leaves that are fresh off of the tree, not something that are on the ground. So if you go to your garden or the park or your backyard, uh, look for some big leaves um, that are fresh and dry. Okay, the next thing you need are some rocks to hold them down. Could be any rocks. Mm -hmm. We got these rocks from our fish tank. And lastly, you just need a dish with some lukewarm water. Let's get started. Now that we have all of our materials, the first part to find out how plants breathe or plant respiration is to submerge these plants. So pick your favorite leaf, Abraham. Mm, Whichever one. I like this one. That one? Okay. Let's put that one under the water and you flip it over show it so we can see the veins. There you go. And you're gonna push it down and use one of the rocks to hold it underneath the water. There. Perfect. Do we have room for one more leaf in there? Yeah. All right. I think we have room for only one more. And let's use two rocks. Let's see if that will work. I'm gonna push it down. Mm-hmm. You can use two hands. This works. Eureka. Okay. Okay, there you go. Alright, so let's see. Okay. So I'm gonna spread these out a little bit. And what we're going to do now is, they're both underwater. We're gonna come back in a couple hours and we're going to record our observations. Let's see what happens. We're gonna move it very carefully over to a sunny spot. Now, it's okay if the leaves become, start to float when you move it. You just have to push them back down and it will be okay. 
All right, they're both underwater, and we're ready to come back in a couple hours. A little over an hour later, Abraham, what do you notice inside our bowl of water that you didn't see before? What's going on down there? There's a bubble at the bottom. Really? Let's zoom in for a closer look. Oh, I see a bubble right there. I see another one right down there by the rock. Those definitely were not there before. Something is happening here, Abraham. Something has happened. Action. And that oxygen bubble that wasn't there an hour ago is showing exactly what plants do every day, all day, and we never even realize. It's called respiration. The plant is taking carbon dioxide in and it's releasing oxygen. And for the first time, what you're seeing in there, in that dish of water, is oxygen, an oxygen bubble being released from the leaf still. Now, what you do at the end is go into your science experiment form and fill in the results of what actually happened. Remember, your prediction, if you are wrong, that's okay. You're learning. That's the whole point of the prediction. You never change the prediction. Right? That's the whole point of science, is to learn. And in this case, Abraham's prediction was that the leaf was going to show respiration by waving through the water, which we found out was not the case. And that's okay. Again, we learn what actually happened in the results. With most science experiments, you can always vary certain aspects of it and get different results. And this one is no different. There's two ways that came to mind for me, and the first one is to change the temperature of the water. So for this one, we used lukewarm water, but what would happen if you used cold water or even hot water, like really hot water? Would you actually get more respiration from the leaf or less? Who knows? The other one is try all different kinds of leaves. So for this one, I just went outside, well actually my assistant went outside and grabbed some leaves from our front yard. But you can find leaves everywhere. So try different leaves and see if you get different results. I'd be curious to hear from you what you find out, depending on the type of leaves or the temperature of the water. If you find another way to vary this experiment, I'd love to hear from you. And actually, if you do it, I'd love to see the results as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed the science experiment. I thought it was a nice tie-in with the nomenclature or three-part cards as they're known as well for the parts of leaf that you had just a week ago. Anyways, with that said, I'd like to thank Abraham, my assistant, in making this video. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Or if you have any results, as always, I'd love to hear from you. So please ask mom or dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt or uncle's permission to email me any pictures of your results, any variations that you got. I'd love to see them. I hope you're all staying safe, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.